Hey, 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 Aries. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, <clears throat> Aries, we have the Seven of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Wowza. I'm hearing embracing your future. I feel like there's something that you want here. And you may have to give up something to get something. What is this? Ten of Wands is clarifying the Seven of Wands here. The Four of Swords. <clears throat> it could have something to do with work. Maybe you have to give up your job in order to obtain your dream, right? Of owning your own business. It's, it's something like that. <clears throat> and you've been putting this off, but now you're embracing it. Tell me more about this. And you're not telling anybody about this? The lovers. Hmm. This is going to get you closer to love. If you make this move, Aries, it's going to bring you closer to love. It does have to do with a work situation. Okay, but you got to make the choice to do it. Tell me about the wheel. This is going to implement massive change in your life if you choose this. The Ten of Pentacles, see? Ending something, beginning something new here. 10 10 and it's going to bring you a lot of abundance it it seems like a risk to you but remember aries you're the fool so take that leap of faith knave of pentacles yeah it's okay i'm hearing give the universe an inch and you'll get a yard it's like <clears throat> that's what the co-creation is right you take two steps forward they'll push you ahead 20, right? So you've got to do your part. You've got to start heading in that direction and then the universe will help you out. The universe is waiting because you have love here waiting for you. It could be a fire sign, this queen of wands over here. Six of wands. Yeah, Leo energy here. You're going to be very victorious in whatever this is. And this does have to do with work. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. So as far as love is concerned, there is some defensiveness. You're not giving up, right? Which is, which is why it is coming towards you. But... You need to open yourself up, right? If you're going to be vulnerable and take this leap of faith, then you have to go all the way, Aries, and be vulnerable to love the world. It's time for a new start, a new beginning here. For some of you, it may even require you move. Tell me more. Five of chalices. This is the reason for this defensiveness, something in the past, some sort of hurt, 
of the heart in the past, a past love relationship. Who is this Queen of Wands here? Tell me who this Queen of Wands is. This person, they're saying confident in outgoing, Ace of Swords in the Sun. So you're going to have some clarity soon as to who this is. Because I feel like this, they're, they're shining a spotlight on this person here. So you're not going to miss them. You're going to be communicating. This is going to transform your life here with the death card. But again, it, it's ending something to begin something new. And there's been a couple of signs that have gotten that. The Hermit. So you may need to go into a reflective mode here, Aries, and really reflect on past relationships. Reflect on even the leaps of faith that you've taken in the past that have paid off, right? Because even when we fail, we learn from our failures, right? So embrace it. Embrace those bumps in the road because it gets you to the next step. How does this Queen of Wands feel about Aries, the Seven of Chalices? The Queen of Chalices and the Five of Wands. <clears throat> they may have some internal conflict going on as far as you're concerned, a little bit of confusion here. I feel like they they are going to feel deeply for you, but let me see what's confusing them. Because this Queen of Wands is confident, and I'm almost feeling like an insecurity here. Eight of Wands, see? They feel a lot of passion for you. Why the confusion? Knight of Swords. Uh, okay, it's the communication. Something about this communication is confusing. There is an angel here. We have temperance, right? They're trying to be patient with you. They're trying to be patient. It's not even with you. It's with this relationship, right? Uh, there's something about this communication that's not clear to them. That's confusing them. So... <clears throat> Which is interesting because the Ace of Swords is here. And that's a pretty clear communicative energy. So is this Queen of Wands going to speak up? Because I really feel like they need to just speak up. So that way you can talk about it. And it's going to clear the air. Yeah, see justice here. It's going to balance things out. I feel like this person will use their intuition and finally open up to you about what's bothering them about this communication. I almost feel like, yeah, nine of chalices. See, you are their wish, but I feel like they may feel like your communication style is very domineering. And this is the Queen of Wands here, right? The Queen of Wands, the High Priestess. See, they're keeping it to themselves. Um, this person is intuitive. So I, I really feel that they're going to use their intuition. What is it about this communication? I'm trying to get more of an answer for you. What is it about this communication? Oh, Knight of Wands. Okay. They get this player-esque vibe from you, Aries. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're talking to this person about. But there's something about something that you say or have said or something that they may feel like you're going to be in and out of their life. So what's your advice? Four of Pentacles, don't hold back, okay? Communicate with this person. If you feel like something is holding them back, okay, you need to communicate and try to coax them into expression of, yeah, of love, of feeling, Ace of Chalices. This will 
allow for a new beginning in a very less burdensome way, I want to say. Because I feel like this person is carrying some sort of burden here. Yeah, three of swords. They're fearful of getting hurt. They're fearful of getting backstabbed, right? They're fearful of a third party. All right, advice for you, Aries. Take that leap of faith, though, because it's, it's leading to happiness here. Interesting. There's a couple of signs that get like it's it's well, this goes along with the tree channeling. I have another channel, Aries Nature Speaks 333, where I channel the trees. But they were talking about timelines, this particular tree channel. Success. See? Enjoying your life and the unfolding of your creative abilities as much as possible is real success. So you need to take this leap of faith. You need to choose this. This is a particular timeline, okay, that's going to bring you a lot of abundance. But make sure, again, they're saying communication, communication. They're really stressing communication here with this Queen of Wands, okay? All right, Aries, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day and I will catch you guys on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.